What's up guys? Sure here. Today we're going to be doing some really good games ahead and I'll kind of explain how I like to play and why I get such high scores. One important thing to do is to make sure you get headshots because if you get double kills or dominations it doesn't actually give you any bonus points if you get a body shot kill. It only gives bonus points if you get a headshot, a merciless, a blade master, a grenade kill. So that's important. So right here, I have an instant shot weapon, and I know they're all right there, and so I'm just going to wall strafe and kill them all over the box. And I know I'm going to do more damage than them because my instant shot's better than the instant shot of Orochi now. Also, um, I have uh, Daredevil pants on, which means that my shots also do more damage. I'm able to get the kill up in the sniper tower, knowing that he's going to come out of the sniper tower. There's only one real place for him to come from. And then I immediately look at their spawn, knowing that the rest of their team is going to come from that area. That's the biggest thing on TDM, and even uh, King of the Hill, which I'll explain in one of the other videos today. Um, you know where they're going to come from, and if it's hill, they're going to go for hill. And if it's TDM, you know that they're spawned over at their spawn. And you can kind of figure out where they're coming from from there. And right here, I end up missing a couple shots. Sometimes it's not easy to hit over the box. I mean, just do what you can. I probably shouldn't just sit still like that, but it ended up working out. Uh, we ended up trading a kill there. And um, the biggest thing is, um, Orochi campers still do pretty well. But they don't get very many points because it's harder for them to do multi-kills. And if you can kind of just tag them, that first shot does a lot. But everything after that doesn't do hardly anything. Um, right there, he does a really good job of hitting me with a grenade and kind of pushing me back and switching to his backup weapon. And um, he does a really good job there. And so right here, I know there's a guy up in the top of the uh, sniper tower. So I just go ahead and shoot him. And he called that out for me. Um, I know that there's that guy that's sitting in that corner at all times, so I know that to get my multi-kill, I just look there. I mean, there's hot spots, and in the game, you can tell by where the people are going where they're going to be at. And right here, definitely do not want to try to have this kind of fight with an Orochi. That was a stupid move, but I, mean, I got a little cocky, figured I could take on anyone. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty pissed off just because they're all bow camping, which is just really stupid so i'm gonna go ahead and just rocket the hell out of any orochi person i can find if you want a bow camp i'm gonna riot you sadly i am the worst rocket player in the world so it didn't really help me any um and so i killed the guy that shot me in the greenhouse and then i immediately looked back to the guy that was going to be in the uh, sniper tower i didn't see the second guy in the greenhouse sadly and I'm going to go up here, I use my eye, I see that they're all bow camping together, and you can shoot through that little bridge. A lot of people think that it's just a really good place for the people who spawn over there, but it's also a good place to kill those people. Like, you can kill them from many angles through, that, through those little uh, stairways. So right here, I'm just going to try to tag people and run away. I know that I have no health, I don't really want to die, so I'm just going to try to get everybody low and then run. I'm able to double back and end up shooting him through the little bridge. Um, again, these are some of my better games, and I still make a lot of mistakes. There's very few games I don't make any mistakes, but I make sure that I'm going to get a lot of headshots. That's how I get so many points, is most of my kills are always going to be headshots. Right there, 16 kills, 16 headshots, and that makes it where all my bonus points are actually bonus points. Again, um, last game and this game, I forgot to hit record until after my first death. Uh, oops. I do that a lot. Um, but I end up getting the kill there, and I got a kill before I started recording as well, but it, it didn't matter. Um, basically, uh, on this map, I like to go to the same spot every single time because people know I'm there and they'll try to fight me and it gives me insane amount of multi-kills because while they know where I'm at, I also know the few directions they can come from. On this map, there's only three real lanes of uh, places they can come from. They can come straight up the middle, they can come from the left or the right. On the left, they will always be like on the bottom floor, on the right, they'll always be on the top floor. 
And you can kind of judge by looking at the left and center if there's going to be someone on the right. Also, people like to follow patterns in this map. So if you see a guy that goes to the left a lot, he's going to go left. Right, same thing. Um, the guys who go up top usually go up top most every time. Um, I don't know why this is, but it's just something I've noticed. Some of the better teams, they will mix it up just because they know that you're supposed to change things up. Otherwise, I'll know where you're coming from. But um, I actually like that the other team knows where I'm coming from. It just ends up giving me more points. Um, yeah, obviously, if I'm having trouble and I'm getting out sniped or the other team's rocketing me or something, I'll move around. But for the most part, I'll just go straight up the middle. Um, so if you're ever playing me, come out tonight, me, bro. It'll be fun. Like, I literally do the same thing every time on this map, and I get really good points because of it. So I'd love to see you guys the next time I'm playing this map. Just come find me. But we'll have some fun. Right here, I have really good team support, and I'm just kind of making sure I light everyone up so my teammates can kill them or I get the kill. One thing I want to make sure that I do is I keep having line of sight with those haystacks, and that's why I weave in and out like that. Unlike a lot of hill maps, this one is super important that you kill the other team and then cap the hill. Just because if you just go straight in the hill, you're going to get rocketed or frost grenades or whatever happens. So, um, this one, I think it's very important for your best sniper to just light people up with an icebreaker and help your team know where everyone is at and get the kills because that's going to help you way more than points are because getting the hill is what matters and ending the game with a nice four at once and a ton of points i don't really um recommend you guys go to the same spot i would recommend you mix it up more but the predictive elements of that map are still the same this one i actually started off with the four at once and almost an unstoppable um my ipad was full so it only caught from this point on but i figured i'd still end with it because it made it hurt less that like i didn't record all of the best game i've ever had for this map i like to alternate where i go i'll go up top where i'm at right now and I'll also go down on the bottom side, usually hanging out on like the right side, kind of where this Orochi guy is, but on my side. Um, and that way you can kill the people who are coming from the hill in the sniper tower and going up here. But I also like to mix it up because if you stay in the same spot for too long on this map, you'll get rushed by undying or hit by rockets. So it's really important to kind of mix it up. Right here I have 17 kills and like 380 something points. But um, they have the hill, and we're not in a very good position, actually, so I need to make sure that we get it. Annie calls out this guy that's in front of our base. I end up killing him. I'm looking for the triple up at the top of the bus, but I see the guy that came through the hill instead. I want to go for that four at once. Um, I don't get it, but my teammate's able to take the hill, which is what's really important. They're starting to take back the hill, and this is going to be a problem. Um, so I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna try to stop it, but I realize all I need really is just the one kill with the headshot, so I'm just gonna kind of wait for that guy to run around and get by himself and just stay line of sight so I don't get multiple guys shooting me. Right there, I was just about getting that one kill to win the game and not really worrying about the hill. We end up winning, I end up getting 21 kills and 460 points. I have two triples, a four at once, multiple elimination streaks everything you could really want in a game and of course my ipad was full so i didn't record about half of it oh well i hope you guys had a great day and enjoyed the video and join me and annie on mondays and wednesdays at 9 p.m eastern standard time for streams